In three, two, one. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Again, Alex showing the latency of his internet there. Yeah, just a bit. Fucking come at me. <laughs> Fucking eventually, I'll let me. If I'm being honest with you, let me download. Always pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how we uh, doing tonight, guys? Ah, fucking yeah, fine right. if, you know, my laptop would work. Yeah, I'd be great if I wasn't, you know, dying from the inside out. That's right, good. What's wrong with you? I don't know, I've got some kind of fucking cold flu fucking thing going on. Fucking man flu, mate. It's, it's, it, it's one of those things, so many people have told me to go to the doctor, but I'm not going to go to the doctor because they're going to say it could be stress related, or they're going to say it might be viral, and they're not going to give me anything for it, they're just going to tell me to take two days off. Yeah, it's. That's what they do. Go to the doctor for a fucking sniffle, mate. That's thing. Yeah, that that is exactly my reasoning as well. They have better things to deal with than some company a blocked nose and sore throat. Yeah, like I've got a doctor's appointment coming up soon, anyway. Like towards the end of this month to get my bloods and stuff done. Good. So. I'm just gonna fucking if it if it's still bothering me at that point, I'm gonna ask about it then. But I really fucking hope it's gone for Comic Con, which, by the way, is a good segue because we've got Comic Con, yeah. um, which is gonna be done. Like, <laughs> done, done by the time, by the time <laughs> yeah, done, done by the time this comes out. Uh, <clears throat> which I'm pretty sure is what happened last time as well. Yeah, it is. Uh, absolutely, but we get to talk about Con like a couple of weeks after it too. But we need yeah, to true. do this now because we would be getting back from Con. And be able to actually. In fact, we wouldn't be able yeah. to record before this was due. Well, actually, there's a fucking thing. What's that? Had we like thought about it more, we could have just done in the fucking room, uh, thing on like the Friday night. Well, why don't we fucking do that as well? Supplementary content. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, could, just, yeah, we, we could do. Over it. We could do an extra podcast. Why don't I bring yeah. down that Zoom recorder and a couple of batteries, and we'll just have it sat on the fucking table? Yeah. I was works. gonna say I've got what. He's got his room. I've only got one for. <coughs> yeah. Uh, we'd only it to be like fucking. Crowded around it though. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe Jamie, you bring your because you your mic's pretty good at because uh, yours is a shotgun mic, isn't it? Well, it can be. I I used to set up as a fucking room mic all the time hmm. to, uh, before we got the fucking nearly a year ago now because I got these fucking mics for Christmas. Yeah. Um, but the the little pencil mics we use now are more sort of like they're more shotgun mics than what that was. Well, what I was going to say is, like, if you fucking, if you just brought your Scarlet with you, I've got the two Beringers there, plus my road. It's true. Although the Scarlet's only got two inputs on. Yeah, I'll get my inbox as well. Ah. Uh, we uh, could do that. We could do that. So we, we could, could try that. I mean, fucking bring the Zoom as well, just to fucking, like, guarantee shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how well my laptop will fucking mind recording for two sources. Yeah. Well, to be fair, if I bring the Zoom, we don't even need fucking batteries for it. I can just set your laptop as the fucking pass-through for it and just run it through yeah. Audacity or Cubase or fucking Reaper or something. Oh, I've got, I've got Reaper sitting there, so... Yeah. I mean, I've started using Audacity again instead. Yeah? Yeah. Is that it? I do. It's just so much easier. Fair enough. And it's guaranteed that it works. Reaper, for a while, was starting to fuck up on us. Like, we had loads of recordings that were just fucking mm. broken as fuck. I was part of that whole t- tear everything down and rebuild everything from scratch process Yeah. that I had to go through recently. you had that twice now. I have had to do that twice now. Unfortunately, the, the second, second time hasn't even fixed the problem. No, it hasn't fixed the problem. Ross is recording this. <laughs> I am, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking, how is it, Jamie, you've got the most expensive fucking rig amongst us? That's the bit that annoys me. I really wanted and to punch the desk. And it doesn't fucking work. I really wanted to punch the desk, but I... I, I, I maintained myself or can contained myself rather from doing it but yeah Where that that is the bit that fucking annoys me the most is that when i was running on the fucking the like the bought and borrowed and stolen capture card and the fucking cheap ass room mic that was sat on a fucking not even a coffee table like an end bedside table that i'd nicked <laughs> <laughs> out, out of my bedroom put it on a rug in the middle of the room with a mic on it, with a cable stretched as far as it would go, because that's literally the closest I could fucking get it to us. Yeah. And we were both sat on a fucking couch, which, by the way, we absolutely need to bring back a couch. The couches were great. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that was fucking... like This is a really good segue. I wanted to fucking speak about this anyway, about how mm. far we fucking come, because like, we're, we're, we're coming up for the fucking second year anniversary already. Yeah, I mean, it's like half a year. <clears throat> It's not half a year away though. That's the thing. It's only a couple of months off, and then that's when the fucking the first recording was actually done. No, it's about five months off. 
<clears throat> no, if, if you go, if you go off, like, don't go off first recording, go off of first release. Uh, well, in that case... Because first recording shit. doesn't mean shit. Yeah, that, that's, that don't mean shit. But to be fair, if, if we're... If we're being brutal as well, like we could also say that it was probably around about this time that the fucking the Badgeman chat was actually created two years ago. And we started. I, I can't. I, I can't be involved in that one, but no. well, actually, no. It'd be done a sort of month or so away, like November at, at least, uh, because Ross wasn't even involved in game night until in October. This yeah. is very true, actually. Yeah, fucking Ross, I've only known you for two years. Yeah, I know. I've only known Alex <laughs> for like well, not quite two years because. Were you at the Halloween game night, Alex? No, he missed that. Yeah, no, I was at it. I was just oh, late. Oh, no. oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. You were late. That was, that was right. Fucking, we all got on fucking instantaneously in that one as well. Ross, you did yeah. really fucking well in that one. Yeah, I fucking dominated my first game night. You you did. <laughs> fucking, I you, immediately. <laughs> you won with like fucking 35 fucking points or something. Stupid. Yeah, at one point I was throwing competitions. Because I didn't want to seem like that prick that just came in and destroyed everyone. <laughs> so, like, there was a couple that Stephen won, and the only reason he won is because I was leaving him little things to find. <laughs> like, one of them was like, you need to bake a cake. I had all the stuff to bake a cake in my hand, but I ended up throwing my egg on the ground and then, like, walking past Stephen, dropping a, you know, dropping a uh, bucket of milk and walking away. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be the cunt that wins this one instantly when everyone else is struggling. Yeah. It's just one of those I, things I spent though, like, most of that night just falling down holes. Yeah. Getting really annoyed about it. You kept, you kept knocking penises into the ground as well. Yeah, yeah that was one of the things. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking at one point, I was so far ahead, I stopped doing two challenges to write fuck you in cobblestone. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, we've, we've really have... We really... Bleh, fucking hell, I can't speak at all. We really have come so far since then. I want to yeah, talk we about... Have. I want to talk about a couple of stretch goals, by the way. Oh, stretch goals. Fifty. Is that start on that? Fif- no, fifty subscribers by Christmas. So we need four. That's attainable. Two hundred by next year. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to agree with Ross on that one. <laughs> no, I think we can do it though, because like, like you say, after a certain point, it becomes exponential growth, right? Yeah, providing you catch on. But the exponential growth, surely, it starts on a smaller scale. Like, it took us quite a while to build up to, like, the first... Well, actually, the first 20 came pretty quickly because it was, like, all of our friends and stuff like that subscribing. Yeah. Literally everyone we knew, which is kind of depressing. Which was only 20 people. (laughs) Amongst, like, three of us. But I'm I'm thinking... Look, we're (laughs) shut-ins. We really are, yeah. Like, but if if that was the kind of... That was instantaneous growth. And then they sort of shared it around, but not really. If we could convince them to start with a bit of a sharing spree, you know, from now until Christmas, mm-hmm. and just get like our name out there, and especially with the, like the way that we're gonna probably be able to drop some business cards at Comic Con, yeah, but, you know, I, I would say this weekend, but last weekend as of when this comes out. Fair enough. Um, <clears throat> but we do that. Um, well, I, I really do think we could see. 50 or maybe even 60 by christmas because people will see it and probably just go and subscribe even if they don't watch anything yet yeah they'll probably just be like oh i must note this so they'll go and subscribe and then you know we've got a couple of numbers there so we'll need to see what happens with that but we could really Mm -hmm. do with really do with just everybody we know giving it a share at some point between now and christmas doing better as well i'll probably hope yeah Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I, I got what you this. said. I got what you said. I, I, I couldn't hear it. He broke up on my end. Oh, okay. It went all correctly. He became Robo Alex. There's a there's what we were speaking about just before we started recording, actually, as well, Alex, is the fact that like when you first kind of got involved, you were like, yeah, I'm doing the social media side of things, but I'm absolutely not being in content. Am I fucked doing that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look at you now. Yeah. You're in everything. You're, you're, gonna do what you gotta do. you're even volunteering to fucking get in the live action stuff that we've got planned as well. I mean, how does that make that... you feel, honestly? In sound. <laughs> because you guys know me, I'll do pretty much anything to get a laugh. Um, yep. I will put myself at risk of massive injury because it might make someone laugh. Which. Probably isn't the best way to maintain, you know, limbs. 
But yeah. at the same time, it's like, well, fuck it. If I die doing something, if someone laughs at it, then cool, I've done my job. Honestly, Alex, I'm exactly the same way. Like, I'm either I- I'll do something stupid for charity, or for mm. like I will admit I will absolutely do something stupid for my own profit. Um, and I will absolutely do something stupid for a laugh. Like, um, yeah. one of the kids at work last week, he said, I'll give you a pound if I can give you a nipple cripple. And I was like, fucking on you come. <laughs> I was like, absolutely. Hey, that's, that's a pound you didn't have before. Exactly. Okay. I was like, yes, this is absolutely worth it. Not only is it a mm. laugh, but I get a pound. Reach as well. Yeah. I mean, like, pretty much all of our subs, apart from the one or two folk who subbed from me, won't know that I had a very short-lived thing on YouTube with a bunch of friends. Uh, we're basically trying to do like our own jackass type thing. So you've I always... Think you've, I think you've get... brought this up before. I think I don't you... know if I've brought it up in content, but I've definitely showed you it. I think you have brought it up in content, but only as a passing oh. thing. Oh, yeah. I think you oh, only yeah, well, ba- Basically, my, my, my ass crack is on YouTube. It is. Which to this day I'm still very proud of. You get waxed on that video, don't you? I do. Crack waxing. In several locations. Fucking put it, put it, in, the, <laughs> put it in the description. Fucking who knows? <laughs> Maybe. You'll yeah, some, fair enough. you get some whole new views. That video wouldn't have seen activity since like 2007. Uh, a bit right, aye. <laughs> ah, that sounds good. Oh, no, I do that. Fucking, I'm going to leave it on YouTube. If folk want to find it, they can go fucking look for it. I'm not a bit of shit about it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fucking... To be fair, though, what are people going to search for that? I'm imagining yeah, the no. search. Uh-huh. I have no idea what to search for it, and I'm just thinking Alex Lip Ass Crack Wax. But I don't think that's going to come up <laughs> somehow. Yeah. I don't understand. No, probably not. But then again, I've done some weird shit. So, yeah. it might. Yeah. Fucking, we had someone comment on one of our videos the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. they had fucking Cactus did. Yeah. What's his cactus name again? It's c- Obedient Cactus. Obedient Cactus, yeah, that was it. That's where you look it up. Yeah. No, no, you don't need to look it up, I remember. Good. The fuck, it's a good name. Yeah. It is a very good name. He's been with we us met... from, like, the start, I think. We like met him day on... Day one, pretty much. We met him on Destiny. Yeah. That's how he discovered Oh, us. yeah. We met him on Destiny, and he... I think he kind of, sort of, ended up being part of the fucking dance party video that we did. Maybe. Maybe. Because I, I, was... I was sure there was something to do with that. It was one of the Destiny... It was either we were in a Destiny raid and we were speaking about content and he was... I think we might have been well. raiding at the time. No, I think yeah, that's why probably we were, we were raiding and we were just saying, oh, by the way, like, this is being recorded, or he's all right with it sort of thing. Because when we record with folk who are outside the group, we always like to bring it up just to... To make sure that Make sure right. they know what's going on. Because I'm pretty sure... Like, obviously, said... we don't bother doing it when we're just, like, in pub matches, just by ourselves getting, like, sort of podcast footage, but if we're in, like, a party like that, then it's the polite thing to do, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Because... Oh, it must have been the fucking the dance party thing then, because I'm pretty sure he was like in the corner, and I was like, "Look, we're do- we're recording this right now. Your gamer tag's in it. Are you like, is that all right?" <laughs> Although I think it never actually like that bit where the his gamer tag shows up never actually made. No, because uh, if his gamer tag was a beating cactus, then I'm sure it was a raid. I'm fairly certain it was. Sure, it was a raid, but on because <clears throat> the uh, dance party thing we just done that when it was the four years on that was. Yeah. Yourself, me, Ross, and Steven. No, I wasn't even there. You weren't there. It was yeah, just you, you two. Oh, no. No, it was, part it of it was just us two. She... Part of it was just you two. The actual dance yeah. in the tower. Yeah, part it was all of us. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was just you. And then I ended up... <laughs> I fucking went and danced with stupid stuff. That's yeah, I danced with some dude at the end of the fucking... I danced with that walker. What street was, was that? That was a really fucking good... Um, that was a good laugh I got out of you, that one, Ross. Yeah. I wasn't expecting fucking... it. Fighting, fighting the fucking devil walker. Yeah, I was not expecting funny. it. <laughs> you fight the devil walker was subjective in that, by the way. Mm. Yeah, I was dancing next to the devil walker, really. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, I was, I was in the wee fucking doorway next to it trying to keep his attention on me so it wouldn't fucking blow you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we spent a long time trying to fucking work out how to get that shot. Yeah. I managed to get on top of it, I just I couldn't stay on top of it long enough to actually get a shot. Yeah. See, the okay. thing is, you could go back to it now because you're so over-leveled it wouldn't even touch you. No, no, it's, it, it's it, no it, it wasn't was a damage still. issue. It was when it was moving, uh, I was clipping through it. Ah. Yeah. Fucking. Do you know, apart from the 
the I'm going to bring up an old series again here. Apart from the "Do you remember?" and that Destiny Dance Party video, <laughs> we we have we have you can't call "Do you remember?" a series. It was one fucking video. Yeah. Did yeah, Alex just go not... really shitty quality for you, Jimmy? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, really shitty quality for me. Don't worry. It's <laughs> <laughs> I am the shitty quality. Oh, you're back. You're here again. Now, see, apart from those two videos, we have never recorded I'm... a video like that since then. That to be fair, the, that, I did have two. others recorded for the Do You Remember, but I lost I lost the footage when I had uh, an issue with my laptop. Oh. Oh, yeah. I had a few other games recorded, but fucking, I can't remember what it was. I had to wipe my computer. Mm. You got I, a virus or something, didn't you? Yeah, I think I got a virus or something. I ended up losing that footage. It is unfortunate. It is. Yeah. I just think it's really weird how we had to learn a totally new style of how to make a video for those two fucking videos, and we've never done it since. I mean, fucking, we can do it again. It takes I mean, five like, minutes. It is a very quick way of making a video, to be fair. Like, commentary over an already recorded video is so much fucking easier than doing live commentary and live video. Yeah. Well, I mean, back in the sort of early days of YouTube commentaries, back when like, everyone was still doing the sort of college Duty videos, mm-hmm. that was the standard. Both yeah, the- would record a match and then just talk over the match. Yeah, because they would literally say, "Oh, I think I die here," but yeah, and then they would go was, up and say something else. But that's I still I I really like. I would love to see coming back. Like live commentaries are pretty cool on that shit. But I mean, I, think... I used to when I first thought about the whole like getting a YouTube thing, doing stuff like that was what I really wanted to do. So uh, Call of Duty commentaries are just commentary over like gameplay, but not live. I I like how it comes across. I like how it sounds. I like how sort of genuine it feels. Whereas mm-hmm. Live commentaries can feel a little bit forced, like the reactions don't feel as genuine sometimes, like they feel like they're sort of playing up because they know it's been recorded sort of thing. I know exactly what you mean with that as well. I think for, for us as well, to be fair, like the podcast in a way is our commentary over video, but just not directly yeah. related to the video that's in the background because yeah. we record yeah. it totally separately. Um, it is the same kind of style. And I get exactly what you mean, to be honest, Alex, because you can talk a hell of a lot more about the mechanics and how you're, you know, and what you're doing and explain everything frame by frame if you really want to. Yeah. Um, you know, with a with a pre-recorded video. But, like, when you're actually playing that video, I, I completely get what you mean, but it is a difficult skill to actually fucking press record and fucking speak into a microphone. You know, yeah. even if you're with your friends, it's a fucking difficult skill. Especially for an hour. Yeah. I mean, but to be fair, most of these videos don't go on for about another like five ten minutes max. Yeah, yeah, but like, no, I know what you mean as well, Ross. I think I find the podcast is a little bit easier in a way because we are basically just kind of hanging out and recording it for an hour. Like we, yeah, these all... conversations just flow like they would if we we're just sitting on fucking live, which pl- I find a lot easier because I'm sitting playing Battlefield right now. Yeah, like to you, it just feels like we're sitting on a party having a fucking conversation, yeah. which we yeah, do keep... pretty much every night anyway. Yeah. yeah. I find it helps keep things casual. It, it lets you sort of keep flowing naturally, if that makes sense, because you're not really focusing too much on what you're saying. Yeah, see, I'm yeah, playing Pokemon just now. See, I think yeah. I'm still the only person that focuses entirely on the conversation, but that's normally because I've got the recording side of things to watch as well. Mm. And I think just because of my habit of wanting to make sure that things go well, I just want to focus on the conversation. Yeah, it makes sense. Fair enough. I'm also very easily distracted, to be fair, which is probably why I'm not sitting playing a game at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, really, really easily distracted. So, um, that's why I find comment on commenting with a friend on a game that you're actually sitting playing at the time is a bit easier than like playing two separate games and having a conversation. Yeah, I find there's large gaps when I concentrate on doing something in my game and then I'll respond. You know, versus if I'm actually doing stuff in the same game as that person, I can talk about it quite naturally. Mm. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah. Fucking. 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 See you, by the way. Fucking making me start <laughs> sentences. <laughs> fucking all the time. I've noticed it. Hey, so don't blame happy. me, man. Every time, every since, uh, ever since. I know you, it's my fault, but don't blame me. Ever since you <laughs> pointed it out, you. I fucking. Let it go again. <laughs> no, here, here's the fucking thing, motherfucker. I don't, <laughs> I, I, it's not, I don't so much point it out. Yes. I point it out to me. Yes. Because but as, but like, I obviously my... interact with you enough <laughs> that makes yeah. it like stick in the back of my head as something that I should do. Because like when you when you like people, like that's a psychological thing. When you like people, you naturally start to use some of the language that they use. 
Ah, oh, Jamie do, likes me. And you do some of the things that they do. I don't know if anyone can yeah. hear that outside my window. I'd heard no. a party starting. Fucking straight out of Compton has come to fucking Dundee, lads. That's all I can tell you. Did the, uh, did the bass drop? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I heard <laughs> the bass. Well, well. The bass dropped. Okay, I heard and, it really, and so really did the fucking knickers of all the old grannies in my street. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, there. <laughs> Ooh, there. <laughs> Ooh, there, missus. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, it's me and you, Ross. Sake, man. Fucking saying shit at the same time. We've done that more and more recently. Yeah, we have. Fucking, I'm so happy that Oh No is caught on as well. Oh No. Oh No. Well, you hear the thing. Old Nose has been around for a while. We've also had it kind of on and off for quite a bit. Ever since Ross existed with our group, really. Yeah. But there was something about the way it was delivered during Jackbox the other night that was just so <laughs> fucking funny. Oh, Nose. <laughs> yeah. It was very good. Uh, it, fucking, it, became the, it became the Ebola card for a while. Yeah, it did. Yeah, which, again, audience probably won't get. No. There was something else that I brought that you guys kept doing that annoyed you. What was that? It was something I kept saying. What, as in something we did for a while? No, like, like it... something that I, I kept saying and you guys took on and it annoyed you when you were doing it. What was it? I don't know. It's was probably it going something... like Gunny No? Nah, probably Gunny something. Nah, no, I've said that since fucking chewing the fat. Mm. Pro- pro- probably something like fucking, I don't know, Ken, Dundonian of some sort. Yeah. Fash. Fash caught on for a bit. Fash caught on. Fash is still... Fash caught on because it's fucking funny. Yeah, it's the way you first fucking said it as well. Aye. Like, like you really fucking, <laughs> you really fucking had a stroke when you said that word. You were like, yeah. "Ash." Yeah, it was fucking. It was gold, by the way. Never change. Mm. I, I never will. Good. It's fucking good content. Is what it is. Good for us, bad for the community. No, it's not bad for the community. No, not our community. Just community at large. Oh yeah, probably. The general oh. public. <laughs> Actually. There's another thing that's really bad. Something that I've picked up as a habit from, I think, both you and Ross. Aye. Hitler comes up (laughs) a surprising amount in my vocabulary and my conversations these days. I almost find it impossible to relate things without going for a Hitler example at least once. Especially when people are fucking saying stuff like salt of the earth and, you know, when, you know, you you look... Salt of the earth. Yeah. Like when when you look at things from different perspectives, like I fucking I, I've constantly used Hitler as an example recently. It's actually annoying me. <laughs> I'm like, why does Hitler we come just, up so often? We like it because it's it's something that you usually shouldn't be able to joke about. You know, it's a bit bit coarse. But I think like but, really there should be a warning at the start of every single podcast that we are absolutely we're absolutely a politically incorrect zone. No, no, no you, you don't do that shit because then folks will come and cry anyway. What you do is you sicken them so much that they don't want to come back. <laughs> to be fair, you've got a point. Yeah, if they can't fucking... Like, don't censor yourself, don't give warnings, just fucking be who you are. Fuck everyone else, man. If they can't stand the heat, they should get out of the oven. Or the chamber. <laughs> Hitler reference. <laughs> I knew it was coming. As soon as you went for that, I was like, who's going to work in Hitler? Is it going to be me? <laughs> Uh, every time. Fucking, every podcast. I don't know if it's something I should bring up, but it was a. Well, I fucking I Hitler's Ross. come up. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's really. <laughs> I've got a Hitler related thing. Oh my god. Guy came into my wanted then he had a swastika tattooed on his neck. Are you oh, serious? Nice. I'm serious. Granted, it was really? backwards. It's fucking, but... <laughs> it's fucking so backwards. It wasn't swast- well, it wasn't well, it was. Here, I think he just tattooed here's... it on well, himself. Like a fucking fanny. Yeah, but the swastika backwards is... Is it not a Buddhist peace sign? It might no, be, it, yeah. Either, it doesn't matter which way it points, it's fucking... It varies culture to culture. Um, I get a bit antsy about the whole swastika thing. Uh, some folk are pretty cool with it, providing, like, you've got that sort of context behind it, what it's for, providing it's with, like, certain other elements of, like, Buddhist culture, Hindi culture, and things like that, because it exists in thousands of cultures. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah, yeah, I can tell you right now, this this guy ain't no Buddhist. Yeah. I just well, looked, if it's I, the, if it's if it's a swastika on its own, typically they're, they're not. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a swastika on its own. 
I was just looking yeah. it up. I looked it up, right? It's a holy symbol for people all around the world. If the swastika is turned to the right or sunwise, I don't know why right equals the sunwise. Um, it's, it's to symbolize good luck and goodwill. If it's turned backwards, it symbolizes hate and destruction. And that's why the mm. Nazis used it backwards, I, th I think. I can only assume. The, the backwards became hate and destruction purely because, because of because the Nazis. Of the Nazis because yeah. they used it like that. Mm. But I was going to say that I sent a... It wasn't a text that was through fucking Facebook Messenger, so I wasn't paying to send a fucking horrible joke. Um, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about, Russ? Yeah. Um, <laughs> let me look that up. <laughs> Give me two minutes. Yeah. I'll let Ross relate. Uh, talk amongst Absolutely. yourselves. Oh, there's yeah. that picture of that, that ass you sent. Alex. Me. Oh, yeah. Alex, that ass. You, can, you have converted onto Android as of today. I have, yeah. Oh, did you get a new phone? Yeah, that's Sweet. Seven, S7 Edge. Nice. It's huge. <laughs> it's your fucking midget digits. <laughs> it's causing me serious problems. <laughs> Which, um, it did, that did raise a, a point though today, Alex. Alex, I don't yeah. think you did send this in Messenger. I think you texted me this. Hang on, I'll tell you. I might have done. Because I've went pretty far back and I found, remember those photos? If you, yeah, if you found then you went too far back. Yeah, went too far back. Through yeah. text very, yes, very specifically, text. those photos. We know what we're talking about. It doesn't yeah, matter to uh, the public. Yeah, no one needs I to know. I don't know what you're talking better. about. <laughs> ah, right, okay. Uh, naked ladies. Ah, nice. Naked, very unattractive ladies. What are we going for here? <laughs> those are Harley Quinn ones as well, which is quite nice. Yeah. Naked Quinn? Yeah. Fucking sweet. Like a uh, naked Harley Quinn cosplay. Naked Harley Quinn cosplay. Uh, yeah, I'll send you up. Because okay. this is what the podcast has become recently. Just us playing with our fucking phones, not really paying attention. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Alex, there's no Hitler joke in here. I imagine... <laughs> I, am... I may have said this to the wrong person. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine... No, I've not. I imagine, by the way, um, fucking this... Like, us playing with our phones and referencing the stuff that only we can see is probably really fucking annoying. <laughs> probably. Yeah, I don't fucking care. I've sent that again, Ross. Okay. I did send it to you. It was just like it was like the photo above the bed that I sent you. Ah. Uh, and obviously the, the caption was "Use pajamas for still comfy shower." Yeah. Yeah, and they're, um, <laughs> they're blue and white striped pajamas, like the boy in the striped pajamas would wear. <laughs> <laughs> um, I might send that picture to Jamie so you can put it in the chat in the podcast. No, I'm absolutely right, not. <laughs> like, I'm happy that we spoke about it. Like, well, I'm not happy that we spoke about it. I'm absolutely not putting that up. Yeah, no, I, I can agree with that. I don't, know why, I don't know why. I just feel like that's a step too far. How? How is putting a picture of someone's pyjamas that they've handed into a fucking cash for clothes too far from what we've just talked about? Look, I just once you add context, like, I could speak all day about about fans, an issue. but as soon as a picture of one's in the chat, nah, that's too far. What? It's uh, no, I, I, like no, I could describe could... in detail a fanny to you, but as soon yes. as I put a picture of it, it's, it's too much. No, as soon as you put a picture <laughs> of it on the video, we get taken down, Ross. <laughs> yeah, pajamas aren't gonna get us taken down. <laughs> yeah, pajamas aren't gonna get us taken down. Pajamas will not get us taken down. You're right, but it's edgy. It's not really. It's pajamas. Ab no, that's absolutely. Pajamas. I mean, I could just Google white and blue striped pajamas and put up any photo at that point if you really mm. want me to. Yeah, I guess. I, I would just leave it. It's not gonna have the fucking same effect. Um. <laughs> yeah. But, um. Okay, that's, this is why I'm looking forward to the content me and Ross are making just ourselves. Without I Jamie, tell us to behave. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to be fair, we behaved ourselves pretty. Much pretty well i've d I've also done that a lot less recently because see when see when you guys first started like really getting like i don't even want to say edgy because i feel like it's not for us well, at we're this, not edgy at this place. we just we've got we, we pushed the boundaries yeah you absolutely do but the thing is is like mm. i was just like i was not used to that when i first like started speaking to you guys so it was like it was weird for me to kind of get into that sense of humor like it's not that i didn't like like that sense of humor. I do have a fucking yeah. horrid sense of humor. 
you know, I absolutely you will. You just weren't I, used to be around it as much. Exactly, yeah. It's like it's the kind of thing I expected it from very certain people, and those were the certain people that I didn't hang around with a lot, so I wasn't used to hearing it in such volume or in such frequency. I'm glad we could provide it. So, like when you guys, that's the point. <laughs> so when you guys started coming along and doing it a lot more, it was the kind of thing where I was like, I, I it was kind of like a getting used to it thing. Now that we've done it mm. so much, I almost feel like it's fucking normalized for me, and I don't really know if that's a good thing. Uh, See, that's that's the thing. Like, I quite often find myself in situations where, like, I'll say something, and then I'll just get this horrified stare, and I was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> that's not sin, okay. That's not appropriate." <laughs> I don't know this person. I shouldn't have fucking said that. Yeah, see, that's why I'm worried about saying it. Especially... But at the same time, because of what we're doing, with going up on a platform like YouTube, yeah, some folk are going to be offended by it, some folk are going to be outright horrified by it. But some folk like us will find it think funny. it's funny. And that's our target audience. Yeah. I don't, th- I don't really think we've got a target of sensitive fucking no. people, do we? Fuck no, a target audience is the folk who enjoy our stuff. That's the way I see it. Yeah. You know? If somebody comes along and enjoys it, fine it's a good target of the audience to have because really like i don't even know what our niche is like, i don't even know if we got a niche i mean honest, according to youtube it's, it's, honest, it's, it's males within the age range of 20 to 30 according to that's YouTube. a demographic not niche yeah that's a demographic yeah i guess no you don't guess nah, that, that is not... what it is <laughs> it is we've missed it is. the point where <laughs> we've, i think we've missed the point where we could hit a niche we're just small fish in a big pond right now yeah, we are. Uh, it's the only way I can describe it. With a small fash. Small fash. Small fash. A big Not small fash, that's very different. Fucking, speaking of fash, Aye. I had to uh, change the password the other day. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> no, we need to change it again now. No, because no yeah. one knows what it's going to be. They just know it references fash. It does reference fash. Yeah, that's that, a that long does. email. That... <laughs> that long email, a long password. The long, long is long as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Fucking so is the old one, though. Well, I've, I've got some, like, pretty lengthy passwords just because, like, let's see if in four years when I finally have to log out of this, I can remember to get back in. Nine times out of ten, I can't. Fucking but can, can we talk about how I had to pretty lock much. down the account? <laughs> yeah, you had to lock yes. down the account last night. So, fucking... I'm sitting there on my phone, and I get a notification that we've had a new login from an unused device, like a device we've never logged in from before. Yeah. So I click on it to find out what it is. And it's a Mac from Dundee. I'm like, okay. It's got a Dundee IP address, and I know none of you guys have Macs, but I thought I would ask to make sure anyway. So I put it Mm. in the chat, and Alex responds saying, nah, it's no me. And I get no response for Jamie. So it's like, right, fuck it. I'm blocking the account. I'm locking it down. So I sit and reset it. I reset the password. And then fucking Jimmy decides to come into the chat and go, oh, by the way, that was me. Like, after I've locked everything down. Fucking, yeah. you were so quick on it, though. Literally, I was round, I was round at my friends and I was just showing them how to fucking schedule a video because, like, I have no content on my channel to fuck, to fuck around with like that. Yeah. So I was literally just using the Badger and Pals one to show how a scheduling thing works. Uh-huh. And... Fucking, I was round, and I literally, I logged into the account and got into one video and started explaining it, and then my phone went fucking crazy, and I was like, what the fuck's going on? And you had already locked down the account. It was within the space of two minutes. I'm good. Yeah. Like, you, I'm you were fucking, you were on that. Fucker was on the ball. It was great. But it's, it's one of the ones you, you have to be in these sort of scenarios, like, fucking, okay, I could have been any account. Absolutely. I, like, I don't see us being the sort of channel who folk would want to be malicious and try and take us down. For any reason, but it's why the ones that it could have been something fucking sketchy. See, so, Jimmy, you want to know the reason fucking... I locked it down so quickly? Yes. Is that that account and that password is linked to your bank details and my bank details? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. It so is. the minute I see something suspicious, it's getting locked down. Yeah. Unless I'm told otherwise. Yes. Mm. Yes. And to be fair, I probably should have thought about that, but it's been, it's actually been so long since I've logged in on something that we don't regularly use. I completely forgot that that notification was yeah, even yeah. a thing. I forgot that security was in place. Like I almost got exactly. locked. I almost got locked out by my own security system. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean that when I first logged in everything, like it went up in the chat, like yeah, who the fuck's us? And I'm like, it's me, guys. Mm-hmm. Like um, if I can, if you can go back to the chat and read it, the conversation hey, that that took place when you said it was me, I thought was fucking fantastic. Yeah, if anything though, if anything, it was a fucking brilliant test to say that that 
security system absolutely works fucking perfectly. Because yeah. like, like, it's really good. You said like that that was you, and I said you've got a Mac, and then like Alex was like a Mac in Dundee, and he's like you're like no, I've got a friend who does, yeah. and I was like, and why would said friend be logging into the account anyway? Yeah, and I was like, does your ch- your friend live by, and then where the IP address was? I won't say it. And you were yeah. like, because I was showing them how to schedule videos. I was like, ah, well, I was like, like you explained why you were doing it. I was like, ah, well, the system works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the system absolutely works. It was, it was almost an overreaction, but I am glad that you reacted that way, Ross, because it shows that the system fucking works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was just the fact that I was logging in to show them how to schedule videos because they didn't know how to do it. And I swear to God, I was literally fucking five minutes from my house. They do not live far away from me. Yeah. But I don't understand why the IP address was coming up as fucking Dundee. Like, that's fucking weird. Yeah. It was three minutes it took me to lock down that account. Yeah. It was not long. Like, literally, and like, I logged to in be and started honest, explaining it and looked at my phone. I was like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, two minutes of that was me waiting for a reply from you guys to see if you'd logged in or not. Yeah. Like, mm. like, like you locked that down fucking quick. Yeah. Because, okay, like, just because nobody, like, you know, or out, out of us anyway, has a mm. Mac. And, like, yeah. yeah, and not only that, but the IP address, like, struck me so like, i actually googled the ip address as well to see where it was and yeah, got a geo yeah, that, location for it fucking that is that's fucking quick work like yeah I'm fucking that's sure. a good that's a good security system you've got there but yeah like i text i told you it's it like does your chan- does your friend by chance live near here and you were like yeah i think so i mean you just went robotic as dicks yeah i, I got robo ross <laughs> love me <laughs> teach me love <laughs> teach me to um, love eh. yeah that's fucking. That's weird though. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, amazing. I love that stuff like that works. Honestly. But yeah, it oh. was it was shown as a weird fucking geolocation for the IP address. Like, I like, want to geolocate my own IP address and see if it's right or wrong. The thing is, it depends on whether or not the company that like is in charge of your internet has it down, like geographically correct. Because it was a big thing mm-hmm. that, I read about the other that day. That's true. Um, there's a company that assigns IP addresses and yeah. they had a bunch that they couldn't assign to a geolocation so they just put it in this like the bang on centre of America which <clears throat> turns out there's someone living at that spot and since 2006 they've had police at their door like you know saying you guys have got child oh, pornography on your computer you've been threatening I to rem- kidnap people I remember this yeah all because their IP address was getting traced back to them so yeah, like, because- Someone was using were... the computer, but the, their IP address was tracking to their house. Mm. Yeah, even though I bet that their house, either one did not get fucking internet, or they'd had an IP address that was located somewhere else that wasn't even their house. If, if I remember correctly from the article, they're right in the, the geographical centre of America, and they can have internet, but the family don't use it. But they've had people yeah. like round, like battering their door, like threatening to kill them in that because they've threatened their child or Jesus. like their their son or whatever, you know, like they've threatened yeah. to kill their dad or something like that. So like they've came round to to threaten to kill them. That's fucking mad. And they've had to put up with that for yeah, like well, fucking well, ten years. Yeah, because There's one another... one company just never like one company just never took the the time to see. I wonder if anyone lives at that address before we start assigning IP addresses to it. Yeah. Fucking. Um, there was another good story of a guy who got the the FBI. Was it the FBI or was it the, like fucking like? I don't know. What was the offense? Fucking... The offense would probably tell you what which agency went for him. Intent to murder. Probably FBI then. Yeah. And they they had they they literally they raided his house and tracked him down and fucking cuffed him in, in, immediately. Like they fucking jump on him and he was like, "Whoa, what the fuck's going on?" And they were like, "You have you've been you you're getting arrested with the intent to murder, or for the potential murder of your wife." And he was like, "What the fuck are you on about? She's in the bedroom." Yeah. And they went through, and she was there, and she was totally fine. And it was because he was um he was a horror uh like story writer, like a a like a crime fiction sort of writer. Aye. And he was googling shit like how to murder wife and like. Um, he, oh, was, he, was, yeah. he was searching for like what chemicals dissolve body parts and stuff like that so he could be yeah. factually correct with it and the FBI fucking shut him down fast yeah that sort of shit is, is not all that uncommon yeah, it's, it's not really, like, no it's not which is, is quite concerning as to how much of our shit is actually being watched robot yeah. Alex 
Robo. Uh, fucking come at me. Fucking we've all been Robo tonight, I think. I'll torch this fucking planet. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's they can track that shit down pretty fucking quick. Mm. Oh, it's the dude that um, it was the dude that tweeted just before he uh, got on the plane to New York, and um, there's another. He was in the same program. I can't remember. It was like a documentary on like fucking global tracking and shit. Yeah. And um, I forget. I love my documentaries. I don't know why. Just really fucking cool. nerd. I really addicted nah, to them. Documentaries <laughs> are fun. No, yeah. they, they can be pretty cool. You learn shit, and that's always nice. But this um, this guy literally tweeted, um, "That's me off to destroy America," like winky face, and then like a like the beer emoji. Yeah. Um, and it was like a selfie of him on the plane, and the fucking from the selfie of him on the plane, and obviously because it was him, the fucking FBI were waiting for him when he landed, and he got taken in for questioning, and they were like, "What, what did what did you mean by this?" And he was just like, um, "I meant like I was gonna get like destroyed, as in get very drunk while I was here." Yeah. <laughs> Pretty common expression to use. Yeah, but not for the Americans, so they probably yeah, shut them down because of that. Fucking, they're weirdos over there, man. They are. But they would say the American same worked yesterday, actually. Mm. Yeah, oh, that's a good story. Yeah, it's that's not a hockey really. American, actually. And um, <laughs> did you say it's not? <laughs> it's not. No, the the, 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 the the sum of the story is it took her fifteen minutes to figure out how we do the date. Because <laughs> I asked ah. her for her date of birth, and obviously they do it the other way around for us. So they do month and mm. day. Whereas we do yeah. day then month, and she was sat, right she was sat for like ten different? minutes trying to figure it out in her head. Why is that a difference that we have? By Fuck the knows. I don't know. Because fucking cause Japan do year first. Like Japan basically do hours backwards. Yeah, but J- Japan is a whole different kettle of fish. There, like they they do everything different. They also do yeah, most things backwards. backwards. Yeah. Because like, they write they, backwards as well. They do. They fucking have like vending machines yeah. for pants. Like, it's just they a weird one, country. She... One of my favorite facts about Japan: they have vending machines for Coca Cola that have like, like the shot size cokes, and then like the standard can size, and then a small bottle, and all three are exactly the same price. Huh. Because, Bang because they work on a, like a what you need system almost. So it's mm. kind of like when somebody that's. When somebody that's richer thinks, I need a, I need a swig of Coke or a little drink before I go into my meeting, but I don't want to have like the bigger can and I don't want to have the bottle. They're basically donating money into the vending machine to help somebody that's a little bit poorer afford the more Coke. <laughs> I think that's basically the system that they have there. Which I think is a really fucking good system. Oh, it's, it's one that kind of highlights that as well. Is like, see when... Like they had that tsunami and there was the sort of state of emergency in Fukushima. Yeah. The nuclear plant. Yeah. The thing that struck me was that all the old folk were like volunteering to go and do the cleanup purely because they were older and they'd lived a life. Uh, and their sort of rationale was like it takes a long time for radiation, sick, or like the effects of radiation to actually show on a person. By that point, we'll be dead. Yeah. That is a I pretty thought that was a pretty attitude to have. Pretty fucking moving. Yeah. It's the same as the <clears throat> it's the same as the folk that have went back to live at that site, um, yeah, and Chernobyl as well. Like people have went. No to, one lives in Chernobyl. No, but people live near it, like very near it, like in inside the is it the exclusion zone? Is that the right term for it? The exclusion zone. Yeah, that's the folk actually work at the the plant now. No, I it's think still, it's still re- relatively active. Well, I not active, but like it's in the process of being shut down. Yeah. Uh, there's like sort of vagabonds who will live in, around Pripyat. Yeah. Not recommended, but they'll do it. You can go on a tour of Pripyat, yeah, actually. I would fucking love to do it. I love, I, like, I, abandoned I, urban spaces. I would I would genuinely be very up for doing that and filming it. Like, mm. I really do think you would get some fucking staggering footage from there. Yeah, you would. Like, see, Plus, it's fucking it's Pripyat, yeah, man. It's, it's a fucking it's a marvel. Abandoned fucking urban space is the most mesmerizing and scary thing ever. Like, yeah. in so many ways. Fucking, me and Ross experienced it in a game the other night. Yeah, we did. <laughs> We we were playing Seven Days to Die. Fucking what a, what a segue! That's the footage that's in the background. Yeah, happy days. Um, we were playing Seven Days to Die, and Ross at one point came across, a, like a small settlement house that looked like it'd been lived in by another player, like somebody that had kind of randomly joined into the game, played for a little bit, and dropped out. Yeah, because it had yeah. like a campfire in it. It had some wind spikes by the door, which were bloodied, and like some of the stuff had been searched, and some of it hadn't. So I couldn't mm. tell if it was a random, randomly generated house that was designed to look like someone was living in it, 
or whether someone who was actually living in it when we were playing and then logged out. Or died. Like, just like or died, like yeah. Because it's one a, of those things. There was a few like, times when, like, I found two of them, actually. I found two houses like that, Jamie. Yeah. Mm. One of them had, like, stuff in it that wouldn't normally be there. Like, yes. one had an axe, and you wouldn't yeah. normally find an axe. No, you would like not. That. So I was like, I wonder if this is someone's house that, like, they've joined. Because we were on, like, day 27 or something now, weren't we? Yeah, we were, we were really we were quite far on. into it. So I was like, I wonder if someone's maybe joined, started, and then realised they're so, <clears throat> these guys are really far into it, it's going to be really difficult, mm-hmm. and then left. And yeah, you're finding I, their I, remnants. I'm kind of wondering if that's the same thing, but I, I genuinely find, like, I, I found your discovery of it was equally entertaining, because you were literally, <laughs> you were trying to work out, they were like, you were so mesmerised as well, because you were like, it's like somebody tried to live here but couldn't, and then you were trying to, like, work out, like, fucking, um, what what pushed them away like why didn't they stay and stuff like that like it was really it was awesome like to have that in yeah, a game it, the house i found was really close to our base so it was like you know if there was a horde that came through here they obviously just missed us that like because you get hordes during the daytime as well yeah i was mm-hmm. like if a horde came through and like forced this person to leave they're either <laughs> a still nearby and we might have to deal with that or b it's they're long gone and we just got really lucky yeah, yeah. It's, it's not far from our house at all. No, well, there was one time I was going out um, when I went out to the north to hunt for iron that one time. In fact, I was going to go and get one of the plane drops. And um, I was I was going out that way and I, I literally I crested one of the hills and I just seen like a good for, like 40 or 50 zombies over one of the hills. And I was like, fucking nope. I just had to fucking run. <laughs> yeah. Dude, like, one of the other things I found out the other day, by the way, after we stopped playing. Yeah. Is that, you know where we went? The other night, where we found the frozen lumberjack, yeah, yeah. If we had kept going just a little well, bit, I'm saying, yeah, we would have came across an army base. Oh, we need to go out there next time we're we playing. Then. I've managed to get a map of the whole map, like a a picture of the whole map that we're on. Nice, and it's got landmarks pointed on it, so I I can direct us as to where to go. That's pretty good. Nice. That's very very good. Cool. I, I fucking I love stuff like that in video games. I really do. I love stuff like that. Like literally, I'm I'm sure um, I'm sure like people like imagine like the people that like own Minecraft servers and like they can't pay for them anymore, like the official ones, and then they change hands and new people start playing them. Like you imagine people finding the remnants of shit that people have built in Minecraft, like coming across whole fucking cities I've done and that infrastructures. Before. I've joined like Minecraft Probably servers. Was talking about something like that. I've come across Minecraft servers and like decided right, I'm at the spawn. Everyone's going to spawn here. I'm going to walk for like three or four days and start way way out and like on my walk i've come mm. across like destroyed bases or like empty bases that have got like maybe just a stick in the chest or something like that yeah. and it's fun going through and just finding that shit it is really yeah, back ma- sorry on you alex i guess back when i was talking in the minecraft I, I found that as well when i was browsing in our servers like you would find sort of well you know it's got that sort of degeneration of built structures over time yeah you would go through servers and find like sort of ruined settlements and shit pretty cool i fucking love that especially in the pc version like the the, the mm, mod that, that was me in that one yeah the mod the mods in that that create very realistic degradation of structures over time when they're not lived in are fucking they're fantastic mm. oh I, I, I really do love stuff like that like it mesmerizes me on a deep level it really does yeah and fucking like that that existing like the, us having the technology enough to find that kind of shit in video games is phenomenal like that is yeah it really is. I, I think we should go and do it, guys. We should go and take a trip and tour fucking Pipriat. Is that how you say it, Pipriat? Pipriat. Mm. I mean, it's something, I don't even know if I've mentioned it in any content or anything like that, but I really quite enjoy sort of urban exploration. Okay. Uh, not so much these days, but I used to spend a ton of time in abandoned buildings. I fucking all loved it. Um, I don't think you, the shit you would find. I don't think you've ever met. I don't think you've ever mentioned that as well. Said so you went major Robo Alex there for a minute. Yeah, you really did. Again, we've had that a ter- ter- terrible Skype call tonight. Oh, we fuck have. It. Yeah, we have. Um, have I been all right? You've been okay, actually. I haven't had anything had the look. Fantastic. What's quite funny is when he asked, "Was I all right?" It went a little bit Robo for me there. No, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't for me. Yeah. He sounded yeah. fine for me. How long have we been going, Ross? Uh, Forty-nine minutes and twenty-five seconds. Ah, oh, we're we've still got a bit. I felt like we were coming up to the end. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we've still got a bit. That's weird. No, we should absolutely go and fucking do it. 
Um, I I spent a lot of my teenage years um fucking in abandoned buildings as well. Like, oh, the fair run there was fuck off to the. Yeah, but it's one of those things. Like I used to go. There was a building that was actually quite close to um the Overgate in Dundee, Ross. Yeah. And it was like it was getting. I don't know if it was abandoned or if it was getting refurbed, but it was basically condemned and it was all locked up. But there's a group of us that used to hang out in Dundee, and we used to just fucking climb in at night and hang out in there. I think like I know the window, which one you're on about. Like the windows were all fucking smashed and everything anyway, and the wall yeah. was so crumbled you could basically just use it like fucking stairs. Did you? Yeah, did you say the overgate or the wellgate? The it would be the wellgate actually. Yeah, I, I know what building you're you're referring to. And yeah, it's been condemned. Yeah, yeah, up behind the park. E- yes, yeah, that was the one. That was the one we used to go in, and we did. We got up to all sorts of fucking antics in there. Fucking one person fucking just disappeared from the group one night. And fucking came back with a sheet over. Like they'd found a fucking bed sheet and they'd come back with it over and pretended to be a fucking ghost. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, without saying too much about like where I actually live, like there used to be a like a, a mansion type thing around about here uh, that recently got destroyed for fucking houses. Uh, but that's sat uh, fucking empty for a good sort of fucking what was it like ten year for the time I moved up here. I spent a lot of time in there, man. It's cool as fuck. A lot it's of like, that stuff um, really cool. the fucking Strathmartin Hospital. That's fucking sitting derelict. Hmm. And because it's, it's a, like uh, because it's a trust building, they can't demolish it. Mm. Oh, I, I, I can't fucking. There's nothing. I think I could mention, but again, that says too close to where I actually fucking live. So yeah. Yeah. we'll get bring I, it up. I'm I'm good because like I can <clears> mention it, but you know, like I mentioned Dundee and shit. Like it's far away from where I am. Actually, actually, no, fuck it. I will say it because it, <laughs> it's I can I can only say it's nearby. Fucking, you don't know nearby in which direction. Exactly. Uh, the old Gartlock uh, Hospital. Uh, it's got these two massive fucking towers in it. It looks fantastic. Fawn bits. Uh, you can still get into it if you know where to climb. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fucking high. Uh, which means now that I've got a new camera, I might actually go back. Cause it's been a while. Fuck okay, it, I'm going to go back. Fuck it. <laughs> Group night out on Saturday. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we we go to that and we film Alex breaking in and getting yeah. night shots. Exactly. Fucking abandoned, abandoned shit. Hey, yeah. I do not do that place at night. It's there's not a lot by way of floor. You spend a lot of time walking on rafters. That shit in the dark is just not viable. Yeah. Take a see torch. um, see the take a head torch. Like, yeah. Just duct tape it to your face. No, I mean I've tried it, mate. <laughs> Nearly broke my ankle. <laughs> fucking there's a on one of the river walks that you can do around Blair Gowry there's a, a, on part of it there's like an abandoned like tunk, 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 bleh, <laughs> comple- <laughs> <laughs> completely crumbled like literally there's two walls left standing farmhouse but beside it yeah. there's like the remnants of a barn and that's really fucking cool to go and kind of mm. climb about on and look in well, like, I've got a, I've got a lot of shit like that as well like fucking old abandoned farmhouses and shit just, I've, I've got that sort of weird balance between urban and rural just because of where I am like yeah you're two minutes from a motorway but you're in a fairly rural area yeah like um, for me to just hop a, a car into the city centre takes about 20 minutes it's about 20 minutes by train as well if you don't factor in time to walk to the train station yeah. so it's that I've got great access to the city if I want to go in but it's also quiet as fuck which is quite nice yeah, I think that honestly sounds like my kind of ideal location, Alex, for like where I want to live, mm. you know, in my in my future. I want to live, you know, on the outskirts probably of some city. You know, even even if it was some place like kind of mm. like the the area that you live in, Ross. Yeah. Like, you know, it's it's rural enough, but it's still close enough to everything that's central. Yeah, it's, it's um, suburban. Yeah, suburban and it gets it gets uh, gets good internet. I can't fucking <laughs> speak. Yeah, so it doesn't take me long to get into the city centre at all. I mean, you could walk to work if you weren't a lazy shit. It does. Yeah, He's occasionally. Up. Occasionally, yeah. You walk in the winter time though. I do. If it's too windy, I take a baker walks. Nah, I've only done that once, and that's when I, I had my. I one, when it was like fucking. That's when I had my one two five that weighed like fucking <laughs> nearly as much as I do. Yeah. 
Now I've got a big heavy bug and it'll be fine. I can, I can actually tell when you're at work because, like, I just if I arrive at that um, shop and your bike's sitting outside, it's because like, I, so I park it in the same fucking spot every day. It's my spot. You now. do. Yeah. Like secu- security now fucking know it as my spot. Yeah. It's fucking right outside the shop door as well. Like yeah. <laughs> you basically get a fucking front row seat. Yeah, basically. It's like they've actually moved the camera a little bit so my bike's in it now. Nice. I got, oh, nice. I got quite pally with them. <laughs> That's did, the ideal though, isn't it? Did yeah. you tell them to move it or No, 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 they did it. They did it themselves. Nice. Mm. That's um, not bad. Like where the camera aims, it aims at the the cash machines, but my bike's just slightly off to the left. Mm-hmm. So the guy that did it, he was just like, "Okay, well, I'll just move that camera just a little bit." Yeah, there's your bike. As long as you park it in the same spot every day, it'll be there. Nice. And it, when I had my last bike, it actually worked out quite well because they came up to us and went, "There's someone fucking a bit with your bike," and I went out and told them to get the fuck. Yeah, uh, fair enough. And you can't ask for more. It's a good, it's a no, good, you can't. It's a good system. I can't imagine how many people have probably fucking messed around with my car. I'm so happy that I could park it literally outside the fucking door of my work. And I can see it from the fucking window all day. Yeah, I can see my car from the window. I can't get right up close to it right enough. Just because I fucking... Where am I... Where am I... Yeah. <laughs> where I'm working now isn't really a shop. It's more of a fucking cabin. Like a, a port cabin. Yeah. Uh, parked in the middle of a fucking car park. Uh, which I'm not meant to park in for more than three years. Um, I'm off in there for at least seven. I've got countless fines that I'm not going to pay. Uh, but like in older shops, like we had sort of designated parking areas outside or like on-street parking, so I would always get, because of when I was getting there, I would always be able to park right outside the shop, so sat at the counter, I could see out the door to my car. It was fucking it was great. <laughs> Man, I got to watch them do reverse in front of my car, which was not as great. But anyway. Fucking actually, that scares me thinking about it. Nobody's going to reverse up the driveway at my work, thankfully. Jamie, someone reversed into our fucking driveway mm. and, like, hit the Shogun. But yeah. we still had it. But that's, yeah. I mean, that night I fucking, I put in the sort of general chat, you know, fucking deal with a car accident at four in the morning is great fun. Oh, yeah. That, that was what happened. Some we fanny reversed through, like, the parking spaces across the road, which one of you will probably park in uh, at the weekend. Yep. Straight across the road into the back of the Shogun. Fucking, no! I know for a fact nobody's gonna fucking go up my work's driveway. I don't see that, Jamie. I'd rather you put your motor in the drive just because of what it is. Yeah. Yep. Just keeps it out of the way. Yeah, fair enough. I'll, I'll have a space in the drive for one more. No, that's fair enough. It's probably a little bit more high value than anything else that's gonna be sitting around mm-hmm. yours. At the end of the day, if somebody breaks in and steals something, the probably still more more, not yours. <laughs> true. Very true. And if Jamie's car's parked in the drive at the back, they won't get your dad's motor out. Uh, they assuming. probably will. Yeah? No, because Jamie's will be behind me. Ah. You're going to block me in. Have you figured out what's wrong with yours yet, Alex? Uh, there's an MG. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it is it basically, that is, what, that is what it is. How, how old is that car now? 16 years old or something? 13 years old. 13 years old. Yep. Okay, now. 13 years old, we're 164,000 miles on the clock. Yeah. So I think which I have... might add fucking 80 odd thousand, or like, I've got it with 87, I might say, on the clock. So a so lot of that, almost a, 80 on it myself. A lot of that was yours. Like yeah, in five years. It's the difference between me and you, largely, Alex, is that one, I, I, one personally, I don't think I would buy a car with that kind of mileage on it. Like, I'd. That was the first car. It, to be fair, yeah. I mean, even even my first car, I'm pretty sure had like sixty thousand on it. Mm. Fair enough. I think that was the. To be fair, that's also been rebuilt like twice. Nah, well. So while while, basically, it, while basically, the clock yeah. reads one hundred and sixty four, the engine itself's only done maybe forty. Ah, that's not so bad then. It's just one of those. Well, things. the en- engine in this configuration is done about forty thousand. Yeah, I just like I don't know. I would just buy something. <laughs> I yeah. buy something. I'd be like, this is it. <laughs> this is what I'll deal with. I keep mine's pretty standard. Mm. But, eh, uh, reckon, yeah, it's time to stop. Is it time to stop? Mm. Yeah, 59 minutes for that. Mm. It's time to stop. Ooh. Mm. Well, no, 10, 69. Lol. <coughs> nah. Right. Oh.
No, because I pre-recorded the footage this week rather than fucking getting it afterwards. So the the footage, yeah, but uh, you recorded what a hundred and an hour and eight minutes, something like that. You recorded? I'm pretty sure you said to me something like that. Yeah. So we got all ten minutes. It's fine. We're still getting enough. Uh, <laughs> nah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, actually, actually, there was that one podcast that Ross fucking held us on and I ran out of footage and I just deliberately left it black screened. <laughs> yeah. I, was like, I, was like, I was like, Ross made me run out of footage. Here's a fucking black screen for the last minute. <laughs> no, yeah, you put a that. picture of me on that. Oh, yeah, it did. Fucking, your faces are fucking phenomenal. Yeah, they are. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, I, that, he's fucking Natsu scarf. That's a that is a good one. Ross, go up, Look, and I'm going to wear it for con. You should. You better. I will. Fucking, it's appropriate. It is. Mm-hmm. Right, that's time to stop. So, um, if you've enjoyed this podcast, uh, fucking badgerandpals dot com, um, like, subscribe, share, Redbubble, buy something good. Uh, I feel like that wasn't where, the normal one we did. No, but... that's not. Where, where was the allergy, Jimmy? Where, where was the pizzazz? Uh, I'm, I'm sick. The fire before. in your eyes. <laughs> fucking motherfucker! I came into a goddamn fucking game show when I was dying. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. You don't get it fucking used to being sick as a bitch for doing the fucking outro. Do it again. Do it right. If you've enjoyed this podcast, head on over to badgerandpals.com and you can check out the latest content. There's links there to all the stuff that we do. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Redbubble Store where you can buy some of our shit. Go and do that. Yeah, but I didn't think you would do it. <laughs> but were you impressed? Was that better? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was pretty solid. Right, okay. Let's go. Let's end there. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys.